Hello, I'm George Malin, the Managing Editor of IoT Now, and uh, welcome to this quickfire interview. I'm joined today by Sashi Thathadri and Florian Denzin from Telit Centurion. Gentlemen, uh, IoT is really growing now, uh, and massive IoT has arrived and is continuing to evolve. Can you explain the evolution of IoT from its roots in M2M communications to the current state of massive IoT? Yeah, I can, I can start with that. Uh, nice to see you here, George. Um, so, so you know, IoT, um, I mean, it has its roots. It's from telecommunication. It started with a phone, right? Like uh, people started with mobile phones. And from there on, we figured if we could talk to each other, machines could talk to each other, why not put this little thing inside machines? It, it really started off out there, like saying, how can we connect machines? How can we get this communication technology into machines? And, and of course, from there on, it's, it's evolved. Uh, we've, we've taken it across uh, different technologies uh, going right from 2G all the way up to now 5G and uh, understanding a little bit more about how machines talk to each other, how much speed do you need, how much data is going through. Uh, all these little tweaks have been added into it. And today, this is where we are today, starting from basic mobile communication all the way now into large IoT. And Florian, how do you see things uh, today? Well, I think today IoT really is a vast space and uh, you can choose from a lot of different technologies. You have, um, you can accompany basically applications from very simple data push up to really like, let's say more reliable towards real time needing applications. And I think it, yeah, it's there are a lot of opportunities, but of course there are also a lot of choices to be made. Sure. I mean, I guess the, the key issues are scale, security and compliance. And as IoT grows, uh, what do you see as the key challenges and, and how is your company addressing these issues? So as uh, I think as IoT has scaled and as more and more devices are getting connected, what's increased is the threat surface. Like what, what means what this means is essentially the fact that we're critic, uh, protecting critical infrastructure. We're protecting devices that uh, that securely need to communicate with each other. Whether it's it's protecting the grid, whether it's it's secure communications from from devices and assets in the field. Uh, how do we protect this layer? How can you tr trust this information that's going from one point to the other? And and this is where Telit comes in, like adding that layer of 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 trust right from the root. I think this is what uh, we at Telit Centurion are focusing on on a day-to-day -day basis. And, and Florian, can you tell me a bit more about the company's offerings? Yeah, so as, as Sashi outlined, of course, security is, is the main part. And I think it's important to note that it's it's not only centered around the device. Yeah? It's, it, it stretches end-to-end -end and, of course, uh, also over life cycle. And that's very important for security. In addition... Um, of course, again, um, it's not just a simple building block. If you have a module, uh, there's a lot more and you can really leverage a lot more than just viewing it as a component by yeah, adding the lifecycle perspective, thinking about connectivity, for example, thinking also really about like regional footprints, uh, what are the requirements of specific verticals? And, and this is yeah met by... Uh, a, de a device uh, lifecycle management, of course, the connectivity and up to solutions, supporting customers really to to uh, forward integrate or give larger building blocks up to a whole device and therefore enable it, yeah, a very smooth start into IoT and and yeah, keeping letting the customer focus on their core business basically. Uh, so this is a complex market with uh, many choices for IoT organizations to make. How do you help your customers make the right decisions as massive IoT uh, matures? Yeah, I, I think it's it's really critical at the at the design phase when you're uh, asking yourself these questions. And and here we we present uh, we're a global company which is present in uh, today serving more than uh, two hundred countries. Uh, and we have engineers close to you uh, within a fairly fairly small radius, I would say. So, so you could reach out to our engineering teams. We can we can guide you through this process of making the right choices. We're also serving more than two hundred countries as a global MVNO. 
Uh, I think between the portfolio and the coverage that we have and the engineers we have close to you, uh, we can guide you through this very important process as you design your product. Great. And Florian, what's, uh, what's, uh, what other attributes would you like to highlight from the, the Telet Centurion uh, range? I think especially with new technologies launching, like we saw 5G, we greatly leverage our standardization activities and then map this insights to the individual yeah, customer needs and, and vertical needs. I think that's very important. It's, it's about uh, road mapping. It's about to understand when is the best uh, point in time to enter a new technology and what are the opportunities? How can, can even use cases be improved or extended uh, by doing this? Right. Um how does partnering with companies like Telex Interior and help companies succeed in their IoT efforts? Yeah. So, uh, so again, like uh, at Telex, um, between uh, let's say Telex is formed by the merger of Telex and the uh, uh, IoT business of of, of Thales. So, so between us, we bring more than close to forty years of experience in in the IoT industry. So, so we understand uh, the different elements of rolling out. Um, connectivity and connected devices. So, so the first part is, of course, the end-to-end -end package, right from the device to the connectivity to designing the solutions. This is what we bring as an offering to the market. Uh, understanding how to deploy in a secure fashion, uh, meaning making sure that all the endpoints are secure. Uh, and of course, the different business models behind it, like how do you, how do you uh, roll this out to the market? Uh, we can we can offer you a pay as you grow model. We can uh, we can of course uh, suggest the right technology for you, making sure that you optimize and and make the correct choices in terms of selection of technology for your your products. I think this is where Telit comes in from the years of experience and the engineers that we have at our disposal. Great, thanks. Uh, now, Florian, can you tell me a bit about the IoT as a service approach that you offer? Yeah, so IoT as a service uh, is, is combining building blocks, is really uh, linking essential pieces together. So to solve the communication problem, uh, solving the logistics rollout and having, let's say, a, yeah, a package uh, which is, um, yeah, helps the customer to be fast at the market, ready to go to, to deploy their IoT solution. Great. Thanks very much. Uh, it was really nice talking to you both today. Uh, thanks for your time. And uh, thanks, to, thanks to, to the uh, uh, viewers for, for watching this quickfire interview. Goodbye. Thank you, George.